Hey, I'm Laser Video Guy. Today we're going to be looking at different codecs, different compressions on the X-T3. We're going to be looking at H.265, H.264, comparing 10 and 8-bit. We're going to be comparing long gop and all eye compression. I'm going to upload this one in 4K ProRes so you can see the, the image quality for yourselves. So we're starting with H.265 DCI 4K 25p, all eye 400 megabits per second. Then we're just doing the same again but long gop. Then it's the H.265 4K 50p, then H.264 DCI 4K 25p long gop 200 and the H.265 HD 100p long gop. The first test I'm calling the selective color test. We're just going to pull those greens and kill everything else and see how well it holds together. The All Eye 400 looks really really nice. The Long Gop 400 looks pretty much the exact same. The H.264 again looks pretty much the exact same. The 100p uh, you can see all sorts of dodgy blocking and noise on the wall to the left of the plant and generally speaking the colours are a little bit flaky. And the 50p looks pretty damn nice as well. It's worth noting both the 50p and the 100p have a 1.2 times crop as you can see here. Next up it's kind of a detail kind of highlight roll off test um, shooting through these contrasty leaves. There's going to be all sorts of highlights popping and moving around so I was hoping that we'd see a bit of artifacting and the long gop would struggle but actually it was really really nice. I was going to do a skin tone test, um, but the colours all perform so consistently and the light outside was kind of dancing all over the place and I thought, you know what, screw it, let's just skip straight to the next one. So the idea of this test was loads of loads of movement, lots happening in the frame. Again, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to crack that H.264 or at least the long gop and, and make it look a bit ugly, but everything actually performed really, really well. Uh, I had to cut this one short because those security guys didn't take a liking. Um, but generally speaking, all of it looks really nice. The H.264 looks slightly flatter uh, in, in all the tests really, but this one you can really tell because there's so much colour. Um, this next test is the bad blue screen test. So I've set up a really awful blue screen in hope that that 8-bit falls apart, to be honest. So first we'll look at it flat, look at it with the LUT, then we're using Ultra Key and then we'll punch in 250%. Again, the long gop and all eye look pretty much the exact same. The H.264, um, in terms of banding and stuff like that, it, it was fine, but you can really tell, especially on that blue background, the color shift. These are all on a consistent white balance. These are all daylight balance shots. All the settings are the exact same. Uh, the 100p was actually quite impressive, I expected it to fall apart a bit more, but it keyed actually quite nicely. Uh, same with the H.265 50p, really really nice. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys a slightly closer look at the 400 megabit all eye compared to the H.264. Uh, you can see that the H.264 is kind of flatter, has a, has a lot less contrast. Uh, here's the scopes, H.265 on the left. You can literally see that colour depth on the 265 in comparison to the 264. This next test is all about shadows. I want to see how much shadow information is crushed and lost in the lower bit rates or the long gop because that's often where artifacting and just general grubbiness comes from. Again, the all eye performs pretty as expected, a bit noisy. The long gop again looks the exact same, very little difference between those two. The H.264, upon applying the exact same grade, um, looks totally different, really washed out. Obviously I've really yanked up the exposure and the shadows to, to see what's hiding in there. So upon matching the two grades, um, just with the waveform monitors, this is kind of what you get. So the H.264 has a lot less colour in the shadows. Um, it's, it's kind of the whole thing's a lot more desaturated, especially in those darker areas. Uh, and this is what we see when we kind of very roughly try and match them. The H.265, 
is holding the image together barely. There is, you can see a little bit of banding there, but it's not too bad. Whereas the H.264 is literally falling apart. Here's the 100p. Yeah, as expected, super, super noisy. And here's the 50p, which is actually quite nice. Kind of seems to perform really similarly to the 400 megabit stuff. So just to conclude and wrap things up a little bit, um, I think H.265 looks great and performs well. Uh, H.264, although they kind of look very similar, it's a little bit flatter, has less colour information as you'd expect, it's only 8-bit. The difference in bitrate, long gop and intra frame, not a lot of uh, difference um, even, even when you yank it about in post. Uh, sorry if that was a bit all over the place. Hope that was useful, have a good one.